Lord forgive me for this trap shit Sergeant Smack make it backflip Telly hanged it with the action With the vital speaking Spanish Frank Matthews how I vanish Poof Came back like I'm King Tut Go BBS is on a beamer When Fat Cat was tearing queens up Fall off the profit not the re-up Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus Uptown like I'm Baby Main Just caught a touchdown A Jamaican police officer is accused of smuggling cocaine from Jamaica to South Florida inside her body. Police say 42-year-old Shelly and Shireen Allen arrived at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport and following an inspection by U.S. Customs and Border Protection, agents found drugs inside her private area, pellets of packaged drugs in her stomach, and in each bra cup. She was taken to the hospital where she expelled the drugs. Agents say 1,300 grams of cocaine were found. She's facing several charges, including importation of cocaine and possession with the intent to distribute. Thanks for joining us. A woman in Brown County tells federal investigators she lost $150,000, including her home, because she was told she hit it big in one publisher's clearinghouse. She didn't win anything. She lost it all to what local and federal authorities call a lottery scheme organization based in Jamaica. We've talked about these cases before, but rarely is someone ever arrested. The first alert investigation tonight, Sarah Thompson shows us this time authorities were able to do just that. These two pictures reveal two very different sides of Shelly and Allen. One in her police uniform in Jamaica, the other a mugshot taken in Florida when federal authorities arrested her as she entered the United States from Jamaica two weeks ago. The work to make that arrest happen started back in 2020 when a Brown County Sheriff's investigator began looking into a case of an elderly victim who'd been told she'd won a house, a Mercedes-Benz, and $18 million in the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes. She would just need to pay some fees first. Federal prosecutors say the victim did just that, handing over tens of thousands of dollars on multiple occasions over several months, thinking it would lead to her winnings. For years, we've shared consumer first alerts about these kinds of scams. They almost always end the same though. Once it gets overseas, the trail hits a dead end. And these documents say the same thing. In fact, saying the scam is almost impossible to trace. The key word, almost. Court records show when that Brown County investigator started tracking withdrawals and payments from the local victim, he was able to trace the money as it was transferred from account to account at multiple banks. With the help of federal agents, they uncovered an account with a name, Shelly and Allen. According to a complaint filed in federal court in Wisconsin, Allen was leading a conspiracy authorities have labeled the Allen Lottery Scheme Organization, involving Allen and six unnamed co-conspirators. She is now charged with wire and mail fraud. But when authorities arrested her in Florida, they discovered something else, cocaine. She's now also facing drug importation and possession charges in federal court in Florida after authorities say they discovered packages of cocaine hidden on Allen during a pat down. Then, concerned for her safety, investigators asked Allen if she'd swallowed any drugs. She was taken to the hospital, where they say she eventually expelled 90 pellets of cocaine. In all, prosecutors say Allen had more than 1,300 grams of cocaine, with a street value of more than $37,000. She'll be back in federal court on that case next week. As for the lottery scam case, prosecutors say the organization is linked to 17 victims across the United States, totaling $1.69 million. Investigators sum it up this way, writing, Allen used the money to enrich herself and her co-conspirators while ruining the lives of many of the victims. Sarah Thompson, Action 2 News, Brown County. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We back. It's your boy pop a lot. Mob, mob, mob. We headed to the rock. Jam rock. Y'all meet us in Jamaica, but we going to catch flights to Miami and we going to be up to no good in Wisconsin. So this shit is wicked. Today, we are going to be covering a female by the name of Shalayan Allen. 
put your seatbelts on because today I'm going to tell you a tale of a trapper, a trafficker, a transporter, and a scammer. I want to see any of y'all beat that. Now, we and us of us that do or have jumped off the porch, you usually try to hone in on one hustle. You might dibble and dabble here and there. Sometimes you see where the hustler is the robber. Sometimes you see where the money getter was the enforcer as well. But more than likely, people tend to wear one hat. And when you're doing it on the scale that Shalane Allen was doing it, it probably would have been best because I'm going to make a case to you where one of her hustles lined her up to be captured with her other hustle. Now, we're going to start in Brown County, Wisconsin. Now, this is going to be the scene of where an elderly woman lost about $150,000 in an alleged international lottery scheme. Now, I'm quite sure we're all familiar with the calls or the emails that you would get saying that a prince in Nigeria is having an issue getting to his 93 million because the bank is having an issue. And if you can just send him a thousand dollars, he's going to send you 17 million back or they might send you a check to cash and you cash the check for 30,000. You send them 20, you keep 10 and you hold a hiccup at the end. I was not even sure that they still do those kind of scams, but apparently they do. And according to the federal government, Chilean Allen was going to be the head of one of those said enterprises. And based on a criminal complaint, it's alleged that she would lead the Brown County elderly female to believe that she had hit some sort of lottery and she won prizes including a home a luxury car as well as 18 million dollars that would lead to the elderly women forwarding upwards to hundred and fifty thousand dollars to chilean island including one situation where she sent thirty thousand dollars in cash tucked inside of a crock pot this shit is bizarre i can't even make this up now, according to authorities, normally these scams are very hard to crack and it's almost impossible to pinpoint exactly who is behind it. But after a thorough investigation and a review of numerous accounts that was tied to the organization to the original loss, they determined that that organization was responsible for a theft of about $1.7 million from 17 victims across the country. Now, after an inspection that involved local, federal agencies, as well as Homeland Security and the U.S. Postal Inspection Service, they would determine that Shalane Allen, who was a Jamaican national, a Jamaican Constabulary Force police officer, was the head of this massive lottery scam so they would begin to put eyes on her which would lead to her being apprehended when she flew into the country on february 3rd to fort lauderdale hollywood international airport police would end up apprehending her where they would determine that she would have more than three pounds more than a kilo of cocaine broken down during the course of her body she swallowed 90 pellets and she had the rest in her bra cups. So to be honest, she was pretty much committing anarchy out here. I'm not sure what type of situation she thought she was dealing with because she was a high scale narco trafficker as well as a high scale scammer, which is probably you're going to face football numbers doing either or probably better off like messing with the scamming because it's a white collar situation. But with her being involved with both of these, 
is definitely not looking good. When she flew in on February 3rd, she was arrested and charged with the importation of 500 grams or more of cocaine and the possession with the intent to distribute 500 grams or more of cocaine. Now if she's convicted on those charges alone, she faces up to 40 years in prison on each count. So I was going to say she damn sure came over here with the American dream. But according to the scamming operation, she already was living it up or she already had came off with a $1.7 million lick. So the reason for her bringing in more than a kilo of cocaine on her person herself is unbeknownst to me it's totally confusing and it sounds insane but i want to know what y'all think what kind of party did she think this was and i'm just gonna go out on the limb to say that this is not the first time she probably bought cocaine in the country if it was to bring 1350 grams is you wildin but um yeah y'all get in the comment box below shout out to my people from jamaica we don't get here as much as we should but we're going to be back real real soon i know y'all already know that y'all make sure y'all hit the red subscribe right under this video y'all follow me on instagram on twitter p-o-p -P underscore a underscore l-o-t y'all make sure y'all flood the comment box below y'all get at me on there y'all tweet me text me call me tag me mention me dm me stop me in the street however y'all want to handle it y'all know what it is with me it's your boy pop a lot mob mob mob